I said I wanted to start blending his meals up in a blender. You had to learn to have an iron gut. I look at it like it's all nutrients that your body's gonna want at one point. So, I as well get it right then. So we have turkey, a potato, a tomato, some peanut butter, avo, some cheese, sprouts, berries. Babe, why are you gonna do this? He's not using a cutting board and he hasn't washed his hands. No, I washed my hands. Well, I wanted some scrambled eggs to put in there. I will. It looks like a berry smoothie. I'm smelling the hint of peanut. I do have a waft of tomato. Really good for you. It tastes like a, a soup with a bit of berries. <laughs> well, the turkey's actually nice in there. That's like the after note. After note. The turkey, it, it's like a warm hello from an old friend. It's good, and I like it. You can take this to go, right out the door. Boom, filming on the beach, long hours. There's your everything you need. Kills me, makes me sad. But he knows, we don't know, but as a fan, yeah, I'm bummed. Maybe he'll make another movie, and uh, that'd be cool. TB. Greatest surfer from WA ever. It's kind of a sentimental moment, really. <laughs> How come you haven't been brutal? I don't know. I just want to surf. I just, I'm, I'm tired of the young man's game trying to fight and hassle for every wave. I just right? want to surf. I just want to surf. I just want to display my surfing. I, was I, just, the I just haven't done a very good job of doing that last couple of years. I don't know. That's why I like Chopo when it's big or somewhere, you know? If I were Kelly's coach, I would have told him to catch the waves Leo caught. Catch the good waves. This whole priority thing in the beginning, it's like wasting the first 10 minutes of the heat paddle battling the guy to the channel. That's why a lot of times I let the guy just get the first wave because I'm like, then the chances of the first wave being the best one are probably like 20% yeah. or 15%. And so then I'll, there's I'll probably take one that behind chance. it. If I was John's coach, I would have made a lot more money on tour this year than I've made. <laughs> I'm actually not donating my money to charity this year because I'd be embarrassed <laughs> next year. Just pulled up at our Quorum Up Oval for the 15th annual West Oz Cricket Challenge. Team dietitian, meat pies all around. Captain of the blowing teams and we're looking pretty solid. Just about to do the toss. Good luck. My sixth year, I think, playing this game with the locals. They are two ahead of us now. Ace looks good. Seb, I know he can play. Snake, yeah, he's going to be the shot caller. And then Kersey, he's... Half Aussie, half American. We'll see if he still remembers how to play the game of cricket. <laughs> oh, Jules. Oh, Joycey! Oh, 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 Cozy's <laughs> trickery and bamboozlement of the opposition was <laughs> top notch. Old man is saving us right now. He's killing it. Eyeball coordination. <laughs> Beer delivery, making sure the boys are hydrated. Tough out here in the field. Who looks the next thirstiest? 1876, England and Australia played and they burnt the four bales and they put them in a little jar called an urn and that's what Australia and England play for. The ashes. Well done, mate. We got killed because we hit every single ball to a fielder. 88 to the locals and the blow-ins got rolled for, a, I think, they were just in the positives. It was around, around 10, around the 10 mark. That was the reason that I guess we ended up in the positives, you know. <laughs> and uh, his commitment to the event has been seriously doubted after today's effort and that goes to Tommy Witts for uh, that. Yeah. Yeah.